I'm Are we stuck. just gonna do this and then... Oh. <laughs> okay, hi guys, I'm Shannon, and this is my beautiful girlfriend, Cammy. Hey. <laughs> and today, we're gonna get deep with you guys. Let's get deep. Really deep. <laughs> You're fucked up. So, what we're gonna do is, for Christmas, I bought Cammy this book. It is the book of questions. But what we want to do so that it's more exciting for you guys is we're going to give a little five second pause after every question we ask. And we want you guys to guess what you think we're each going to say and keep track of your score and let us know at the end of the video how well you did. You're it's right. a competition. Yeah. We're always trying to see if we know each other, but how well do you know us? Yeah, come on. Are you guys true, true friends? Okay, so also, if you're 21, I think it'd be a really good drinking game, but um, don't play alone. 30 minutes after we post this video, we are gonna be on you now to talk with you guys about our answers and your answers and just in general. We can talk about everything. Yeah. So let's do a you now and chat it out. Let's get <laughs> deep together. Let's get in there. <laughs> If you're like one of the first people to watch a video, you're gonna be one of the first people on our you now. So that means you're like a true friend. And cannonball. <laughs> okay. If your friends and acquaintances were willing to honestly tell you what they thought of you, would you want them to? <laughs> what do your friends think of? <laughs> I wouldn't want to know. Yeah, I wouldn't want to know. It's like I feel something like if it's a good be. if it's a good thing, they're gonna tell you how they feel. Exactly. So, and if it's something that would better me as a person, I feel like a good friend would tell you that. Yes. No, thank you. Keep your opinions to yourselves. Would you want to spend a week as someone of the opposite sex? Someone very old, very beautiful, very ugly, or severely handicapped? If so, which one would you mo would most intrigue you? Opposite sex, someone very old, very beautiful, very ugly or severely handicapped? Meh. Handicapped. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'd wanna be very ugly for a week because I mean, I think anyone can learn from that to be like, this is like, be aware of our culture and what it does to people's like self-esteem and stuff. I would do handicapped just cause I can't even imagine, like I'll stub my toe and can't walk straight for a week. Like I can't even imagine what someone would go through. Like opposite sex obviously is very appealing, but I think it's just too like, I don't think I would learn anything from that. Exactly. It Same. would be like, I'd run around and be like, Wee! look at my penis. <laughs> Slap everyone in the face. <laughs> Why are you slapping people in the face? Because it's penis? funny, it's just like this. I think it's silly that there's this like no. an extra appendix that just like. Appendix. Appendage. Is that what you said appendix? I'll put that in there. I'll kill you. Ooh. All the people close to you whose death would disturb you most. Let's uh, go ahead and say we can't pick each other. Okay, I was like, okay. My dad. I don't want to answer this because I feel like either I feel bad about like, you know, like if I said my dad, I feel bad for my mom. And if I said my mom, I feel bad. Well, obviously both our parents would really disturb us. It's just like, you're thinking like, like I feel like my mom's invincible. Like I don't even think, that's why I picked my dad. Cause I'm like, I can't. They could pick Casey, my sister, cause she's too young to like, if that's she were true. to pass away now, I'd feel like she didn't like, get to live like that's, that. That's probably smarter. Okay, what would you do if you found your 13 year old child looking at shocking hardcore pornography on the internet? <laughs> That's fun. This is hard for them to guess our answer. Yeah, he's not Just like go a, ahead and try to think what we're gonna say. Get a general idea. It's hard to do those last ones. I know what I would, would, I would I know I wouldn't make them feel guilty about it. That's yeah. the number one thing. I would never like be like, oh my god, Joshua! What are you doing? <laughs> I obviously if they're if your 13 year old is looking at hardcore pornography, they are curious about sex. So I'd sit down, I would have a conversation with them, make sure they understand sex. Make sure that they understand that hardcore pornography is like, is not like typical sex life. Cause yeah. I don't want, I don't want my 13 year old to get the idea that like, this is what sex should be. Yeah. Oh, parenting together, we're great. Mwah. Oh, another awkward <laughs> Let's just meet here. <laughs> we'll just kiss the hands. You are leading a hundred people whose lives are in danger and you must pick one of two paths. One will save 95 people, but five will die. The other has an even chance of saving everyone but if it fails, everyone will die. Which would you choose? Oh my gosh. I would sacrifice five people. I, I would take a vote. 
<laughs> so I would try to take five volunteers and I'd say, listen, this is gonna work. We can save everyone, but five, we have to die. If we have volunteers, people willing to do this, great. If we didn't get five volunteers, then I would do the other one. And hope for the fucking best. <laughs> if they were like, Cam, you have to pick five people, pick some names out of that. Or just pick one family. <laughs> Who's what? got a family of five? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! This has nothing to do with this, but does everyone have a family of five? <laughs> Party of five? Going down the hole. Smith, party of five. So are you guys feeling like we're having a deep chat with you guys? I wonder what you guys are saying as you oh, yeah. answers. As you're going, or at the end, if one of these sticks out to you, comment below what you would pick, and then you guys can talk amongst yourselves. Yes. Oh. Ask me the question, you. What is so important to you that without it, life wouldn't be worth living? Would your answer have been any different 10 years ago? Uh, 10 years ago, how old is that, 12? Okay, well, like Let's five, do years, five ago. years Five years ago. Would we... To me, I'm like, this is a ridiculous question. There's nothing that I could lose that would mean life is not worth living. But five years ago, I would say so many things because I was a teenager, I was yeah. very dramatic. I had little, like that's the thing, you like, don't know the hope world. and happiness. I had a lot less hope and a lot less happiness and a lot less knowledge that I was in control of my own happiness. 17 year old me was a very different version of me and like a very like yeah. sadder and like when you're 17, how much of the world have you seen? How much do you know? Like not really a lot. I mean today you've got the internet so you can see way more stuff, but you've not really experienced so many things that you don't really understand like you don't know the how, what, like, Yeah, exactly. Be. You don't know what's coming. So it's like to it give up that. on that, to like think like to think anything, there's anything that you could lose and then your life wouldn't be worth living is just wrong because mm -hmm. there's like even if it's people or like family or friends, you know what I mean? Like there's always your life is always worth living. <laughs> Did Shannon wear her beanie? Yes or no? Put it on, girl. Twitter says undecided. So you all get what you want. Half the video, I'll wear a beanie. If you knew that devoting yourself to an all-consuming occupation, music, writing, acting, business, politics, or medicine, for 20 years would make you one of the best in the world at it, would you? If so, which would you choose? Music. Acting. I really appreciate people who do things that I'm awful at. So yeah. In 20 years, if I could totally train these vocal cords around. I know. That no, would that's be cool. That was the one I was between those two. But for me, I pick acting because like my probably my number one thing I like struggle with is like humility. And I think to be an actor, you have to be like so committed to just looking foolish. Oh, yeah. And I'm really bad at that. And so I think if, if I think you could help me be a better person. Too. Yeah. Oh. You were offered five million dollars to play a variant of Russian roulette. Oh. Okay. Before you are 10 pistols, one loaded. You must pick a pistol, point it at your forehead, and pull the trigger. If you walk away, you do so a multi-millionaire. If you don't, you're fucking dead. Would you take the shot? No. Fuck no. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Fuck How no. is five, like, you have to be one mungry, mungry. <laughs> What's money my, hungry. I made a new word. A up. Mungry. A money hungry motherfucker. No. Fuck no. It's a 10% chance of this. It's really not that insane. That's so <laughs> dumb. I guarantee someone is way. How many of you say yes? Yeah, I bet there's a lot I'm of people judging who say you yes. And you and you want to say yes, but you know I'm gonna judge you, so you're not gonna say <laughs> Best of both worlds. Chillin' out, take it slow. Then you rock out the show. Get the best. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed our little question book. If you did, let us know. Like this, we'll do another one. There are a lot of questions. Uh, two hundred three, two ninety one. What a random ass number. Go to three hundred. That gives me anxiety. So if you guys liked it, we would be happy to do another one. If you don't like it, that's fine. We'll never do it again. Fuck this video, huh? <laughs> yeah, oh, this one sucks. Who <laughs> okay, came up with that idea? Make sure you let us know what your score was, what your points were. Yeah, tell let us if you know. knew what we would pick. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie to us. Be be honest. Yo, yo butt crack. I see yo butt crack. Yo, yo, yo butt crack. Drowning pussy sounds on butt.
Alright, chillin' now, take it slow. Then rock out the, the show. show. And how did that make you feel, Shannon? Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs>